In today's video, I've got five simple tips that you can use to help get better photos with your camera or smartphone. Tip number one, take a lot of photos. Take so many photos. The thing is, we have a pretty much unlimited amount of storage on all of our devices these days with combinations of huge storage smartphones, massive memory cards, and unlimited cloud storage availability. There's no reason you shouldn't take a ton of photos to try and get the best one. I routinely take 10, 20, 30, even 50 shots trying to get the perfect take so I can post an awesome photo to my social media pages. The truth is you can always go back and delete those extra shots. What you can't do is relive those moments. You can try and recreate them, but honestly, it's not going to be the same. Moving on to tip number two, and that is know your gear. You need to know your camera or your smartphone camera app inside and out. Knowing that will help you remove that barrier between capturing the images that you want and using the equipment that you have. There is a ton of information out there on how to use these tools. Get out there, do the research, practice it so the next time you're out taking photos you can make the images you want without anything holding you back tip number three so that is edit your work i edit everything that i post i use adobe lightroom photoshop google snapseed whatever it is and i'm not talking about using instagram or facebook filters on your photos while those are okay you get the most out of your pictures when you go in and tweak it exactly the way that you want it to look you can create moods you can remove distractions you can correct for lighting and exposure increase the contrast Doing all of this is really going to help your content stand out on the internet. Today I saw a friend's photo that was posted in a Facebook story and it was so good. Of course I hit the like button but I reached out and I said, hey, what did you take this picture with? Come to find out it was taken on an iPhone and edited on that same device. I was blown away by the quality. In fact, I thought it was taken by a DSLR or a big mirrorless camera. But no, an iPhone, but it was edited flawlessly using those tools. In the end, this proved to me that you can take and make great images using just your smartphone, but really take it to that next level by utilizing an editor. Tip number four is compose your shots. And what I do to compose my shots, I always think of the big three things in photography, and that's gonna be my composition, my lighting, and my background. I use various compositional techniques such as the rule of thirds or framing or leading lines to really help draw the viewer's gaze towards my subject. I always make sure that I'm shooting against a clean background, removing any unnecessary distractions or hiding those within the frame by placing my subject between myself and that object. And if I'm shooting against a busy background, I use something like portrait mode on my phone or I use a wide aperture on my camera lens to help blur that out and really draw attention to my subject while minimizing the distractions in the background. As for lighting, just always be looking for the best lighting. It's all around us. Train your eye to walk into a scene and say, wow, I, the lighting is awesome over there. This is why when I'm at a restaurant, I always ask for a table next to a window so I can take awesome food photos. It also helps if you're shooting at a great time of day for making great images. Those are gonna be your golden hours in the morning and in the evening. Also the blue hour right after golden hour. The lighting at these times is warm and beautiful and it helps make your images really look great. If you're inside, use a window light. Use artificial light if you don't have great lighting to create and shape the images to look the way you want them to look. And tip number five is the use of angles and perspective to help tell your story. This goes back to taking a lot of photos. When you're taking a lot of photos, don't stand in one spot and take the same one over. If you've got 10, you've probably got enough, but maybe move, maybe get lower to the ground, maybe raise up so you can change what the background looks like or help compose a better image. A lot of smartphones these days have access to multiple lenses that can help change the perspective. So you have the ultra wides, you have the normals, and you have the tight telephoto look. Those three things have very different looks and help you tell the story in a different way. When you go into a space and you wanna take photos, tell the story like this, show the wides, show the scenes, show the medium, show how people are interacting, show how the subject is interacting within that scene, and show the tight shots 
the close-up details that are taken with that telephoto lens to really help draw the viewer's attention to what you're trying to highlight. Using these three perspectives and changing your angle when taking photos are going to help you tell a better story in the long run. So guys, that's all I have for you today, but let's recap those. So tip number one, take a lot of shots. Tip number two, get to know your gear. Tip number three, edit your photos to get the best possible results. Tip number four, compose your shots thinking about lighting, background, and composition. And tip number five, use different angles and perspectives to help you tell a better story. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you in the next one.